Only on CBS News Chicago now, a Morgan Park woman says she paid her property taxes on time for more than a decade, only to be told her home had been sold out from under her. A paperwork issue appears to be the cause of the nightmare after she says no one at the county would help. Our Megan Hickey is listening to this desperate homeowner and getting answers about a puzzling case. 2019, first installment. Robin McElroy says she loves everything about her Morgan Park home, except for the panic-inducing surprises she's been getting in the mail. None of them are late, proof of payment right here. About her supposedly unpaid taxes. I just started receiving letters just from different tax buyers. This one actually has a, a receipt on it. So. McElroy showed us the receipts from her property tax payments she's been making on time since she bought the house in 2012. I do not like wasting money. I do not pay that stupid tax. I pay my bills. She went to the assessor's office and then the treasurer's office years ago to try to clear this up. This April 2019 letter from the treasurer's office explained that the PIN assignment on the assessor's website had been swapped with her next door neighbors. And so forth and so on. But she'd been paying her taxes correctly. With the original receipts att attached. And there were no grounds to proceed with a sale. Relieved, she thought this issue was fixed. They actually told me, don't worry about it. Fast forward five years to this year. I'm about to cry now. McElroy got this terrifying letter from the Cook County Circuit Court. This notice to advise you that the above property has been sold. Saying her house had been sold for delinquent taxes. On top of that, McElroy was later told she owed three years of rent to the owner who bought it. Just like, oh, heck no, man. So you telling me we could take your house for back taxes due to our error then somebody buys it at auction and then come back and tell you that you owe me rent? Damn! That's called a scam of a lifetime. Sounds like they're getting real good up in Crook County. I mean, Cook County, Chicago. I don't know what's going on up there. Sounds fishy. Let's see what else they got to say. Lady should not have to go to court. This lady should not have to be put in this position to go through all of this headache and heartache. This is stressful. Here's what we figured out. This 2019 letter flags an error in the assessor's website and the need for an internal correction. But it appears that fix never took place. Keep in mind that, you know, this is somebody's property that they paid for, that they are living in. After we reached out, the assessor's office acknowledged that they've now made that correction. A spokesperson declined our request for an on-camera interview, but as of this afternoon, said they were working with their legal team to resolve it, and the taxes on her pin have been paid. McElroy said she won't believe it until she sees it in writing. You guys can point fingers all day long. Hey, that's real right there, though. I want to see it in writing, because if you just talk to somebody on the phone, they'll say, oh, uh, when I was on the phone with you, you said this and they said that. No, you always want to get paperwork, because in the event that you do have to go to court in the future, you'll have proof of what was said, what was claimed, what was asked, all of that black ink on white paper. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. This is a sad case. A uh, Chicago woman paid her property tax and got her home sold at auction due to an error, an error at Crook County. Man, I think this was a scam in real life. I think somebody was pulling a quick one because sometimes they pull this stuff. And I've seen this in other markets where they would go and basically um, act like they pay for the taxes or actually pay for the taxes, get you out of the house and you feel like you don't have any recourse. What if you were this lady and you felt like there was nothing you could do? So she got the news involved. That was smart. Investigative journalism is in the place. Let's end this out. I don't care. I want what's rightfully owned to me. And in the meantime, McElroy says she's had to pay out of her pocket for a lawyer to help her sort out this mess. The current court records give her until next week to file a response. So, Joe, she is really hoping all of this can get cleared up before. That's crazy work. So I don't understand why. They think they can just get over on people and you're just supposed to lay down, get out, act like it's OK for them to just take your property, especially when you paid it. You know, there's a lot of people out here that don't pay their taxes. There's a lot of people that don't pay their mortgage. You know, we go for those pre foreclosure type deals uh, with the future cash flow club. If you haven't checked that out already, I don't know what you're waiting on. Get yourself a free trial. Links in the description. Future cash flow club dot com. That's the Patreon. So here this lady. Uh, Basically got to go through a whole legal battle and she's going to come out of pocket paying an attorney. And hopefully at the end of all of this, they'll find out that they were wrong. And uh, the person who bought 
and paid the money, they're going to be in limbo too. What if it was you and you paid, I don't know, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in back taxes, whatever the number was, because you know Chicago taxes are as high as you can get, high as the sky. Um, what if you were the person that actually bought this house at auction, thinking, oh man, I got a house at auction that I bought, just to find out you can't get it because of a clerical error with Cook County. The lady really paid her taxes, and you got this problem. So typically what we do in situations like this, if say if we knew we were going for a person or a property that was in delinquent property taxes, we try to reach out to the owner from the beginning and not even go to auction. And we talk about that deeper in the future cash flow club. What do you think about this? Is this fair? Is this unfair? Is this a scam? I think it's some kind of scam. They're trying to take this lady house, even in the uh, Cook County's office or otherwise. It sounds real fishy. And uh, I think they should compensate her handsomely, meaning give her her property back for sure and pay her legal fees. And I will go in for the pain and suffering because I'm hurt. Oh, my back hurt just thinking about it. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share. If you care, do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Crazy. I don't know what you've been doing. You've been sleep. Let me wake you up with something straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no mother dummy. This how we. Do.